Okay, in this video I'm back in the HR staff role. And what we're going to look at in this short video will be how to uh, use the HR help desk or service request system. Uh, so if I take a look at this and I go to service request, what we'll see is all the service requests that have been entered. And if you remember, there was one, just had a baby, what do I do? Uh, this actually comes in. Uh, it actually can send a notification uh, to whoever uh, is responsible for service requests. You can uh, set that up automatically here. And so you don't have to look at this list necessarily to see a new one. It's also on the front page for unassigned ones. But what I can do is I can go in. I can select this. Now, um, I go up here and hit Edit. And now I'm actually working with the service request and I can assign it. So here is the new service request and that just came in. Now you see one of the things that happens with the product is it actually the forms change based on who the person is using it. So for the end user uh, or the employee it was a very simple form but now it shows these extra tabs in here because I'm part of the HR staff. So uh, I'm going to say this was a question and I'm going to assign it to um, uh, Brandon Johnson, who's part of our HR staff. And uh, I can at any time also um, uh, put in work log information. So I can actually go in and tell Brandon, uh, make sure you use the 2000, 2021 uh, forms when it's a new year. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, it could be um, that uh, he send, sent, you know, the 2020 forms. And then all I have to do is hit save. Now what will happen is Brandon will get an email as part of the HR staff, and he can actually link straight to it. Uh, and he can also come into um, this and see at any time my assigned requests up here. And you can see that I don't have any. I've been assigning them all away. So uh, I'll go in and go back to all service requests here, uh, too. So um, uh, this is, an, in essence, how you can manage service requests. I can search for service requests if I want to you know, go in and search for um, any ones assigned to Brandon. Uh, I can sort these. It's just like Excel. Uh, I can put in request categories. I only want to see the benefits. Uh, request categories. So I can go here and filter by and say I'd like to see the benefits ones and there they all are or I can clear this uh, as well. So I can go in and filter by and say clear all. So very much like an Excel spreadsheet I can go in and do many reporting on different service requests as well uh, too. Now Brandon will have gotten an email and uh, so he would come in here He'd probably go in and send off whatever forms or links to forms to uh, Daryl who requested this, uh, or David Demo actually was the requester. And um, then he could go in and edit this again. And we can see all work log items are date and time stamped. And he could go in and say, all done. Uh, he'd go in and put to the work log, you know, sent out correct forms and then here he could go right over and say now this is closed and the resolution was sent forms to employee okay and this will actually show up in the message to David demo um, and uh, he'll see that as part of this closing and it'll automatically put in a close date so um, and I'll hit save and that's all there is to um, working with a service request. The nice thing is you can track all requests that come in and make sure that they're actually being taken care of. Much better than email. Emails can get lost. Uh, this actually tracks uh, all information about this. And you can even do reporting. So you could say, show me how many requests we've had by month. And you can go in there and track that um, as well. Very useful, by the way, if you're hiring a lot of people, but management's not giving you any new HR resources. You can show the growth and requests that have happened. So that's a uh, service request. Uh, we'll also see that there is a um, dashboard that shows how many service requests have come in. 
and this is something called Power BI and you can see request by month, year and so on. You can even say I want to see it just all the requests for May and everything changes dynamically. So nice dashboard uh, to show that. We'll also see that a little bit later when we talk about employee information.